You know, I think routines and habits are incredibly important. Every morning, I go running. We set the alarm. I really don't even need the alarm because the habit is getting up early. I'm a morning person, so we go out hard. I take my two dogs and we'll go running. It helps to clear my head, clear my heart, but really more importantly, clear my head. On a personal level, I'm constantly physically challenging myself as much as I can. I kid around and I say, I'm either working or I'm working out. We have a team meeting uh, twice a week. The beginning of the week is about who we sing and what do we need. And we have spreadsheets so everything's clearly listed out so everyone on the team knows their responsibility and when I need it and what I need it by. Friday meetings, we call them dashboard meetings, where the whole team sits around and we have a lot of moving parts. You know, I think of it when we first started, we had a bicycle. And at this point, I have a Ferrari. And if you can have a Ferrari, you better have a really good mechanic. So the team are my mechanics. Their job is one thing. It's to create a superior client experience for our clients. Robin is my chief of staff. She's typically the first face that our clients will see or, or speak to as she sets up my calendar. Nothing happens unless she says so. She's a force of nature and clearly without Robin, nothing else would happen. And my main goal in life is to keep Robin happy. Kitty's basically my number two when it comes to client relationships. Kitty creates all the financial plans. She does our portfolio management. She actually, in most cases, is the person that interacts the most with my clients when I'm not speaking to them. And, and actually we'll meet with a lot, you know, for a lot of client review meetings. Mickey actually started as a client. Mickey is our senior client service manager, creating proposals for my meetings and all the paperwork, as much as we're a paperless industry, we're not. I really wanted to hire um, somebody who served. And through the organizations that we're affiliated with, we were introduced to a young man, Matthew Matt DeBonis. Served four and a half years uh, in the Marines, rose to the rank of corporal, served in Afghanistan, was in a number of combat and firefight situations. The Marines do a great job training. So we brought Matt in and He's taken on more and more responsibility, so his role has changed, where he's now our junior client service manager. What we've created within our team environment is not just my own team, whose one goal is to create pampering service to our clients, but we work within an environment where we work either with their own professionals or with our own on-staff, attorneys, CPAs, actuaries, insurance and estate planning specialists, so that what we've, in a sense, tried to create this family office or one-stop shopping environment. Approximately 67 to 68% of our clientele are women. And there were a couple of things that happened in my own career, which made me realize this is an area of the marketplace that's just not as well served. And the first was my mother-in-law and my father-in-law. He has this massive stroke and he had to learn how to talk and he's paralyzed on one side of his body. And all of a sudden my mother-in-law was thrust into this position of being responsible. And she wasn't prepared. Well, naturally it's my mother-in-law, so I stepped in, but something went off in my head. And I said, my role when I'm working with a couple, with a couple or a single woman, is not just to set them up in a, in a financial program or help them put aside money or maximize their investments, but it was to empower and to educate to most importantly give them this financial peace of mind that we're all looking for. You know, we understand the fear. The fear for most people is, do I have enough? What happens the next time the market melts down or the wheels come off the bus? Their biggest fear is a loss of independence. Uh, one of my clients, a uh, successful woman in the fashion industry, when I first met her, and this was early in my career, I said, why are you here? What's your biggest fear? And what was fascinating, she said, Lance, my biggest fear, my number one fear, is being the best dressed bag lady in Manhattan. So my goal when I work with really any client, but in particular with women, is to make sure that as long as I'm in the picture, they never have to worry about this loss of independence. And whatever we can do or need to do or push them to do, will help make sure that that financial peace of mind that I keep talking about over and over is the biggest part of their life. My dad actually started 
on the insurance business back in 1959. That's when he started Drucker. At that point, it was Drucker Financial Group. Right now, Gideon is uh, taking his semester abroad. He actually, in a year and a half, will be joining me, uh, which creates a certain level of excitement as well as anxiety. But I think he's going to be a phenomenal advisor and an asset to our firm. And one day, his name will be uh, CEO, and I'll be, I'll be the um, Don Corleone to Michael Corleone. Gab is going to make a difference in somebody's world, and uh, I'm excited about her future. Your life goes through different stages. You're raising the kids, and the kids are on their own, and then one day you're going to be a grandparent. You know, that's exciting to me. What's next?